Good morning. When did that start? I don't know. Like, I think it was when I done um, when I was in lockdown. Remember? Um, Every morning I done it. Um, yeah. So Georgia says I look like a tramp this morning, uh, <laughs> which was nice. But I weren't the one that spent an hour in the toilet getting ready. So I actually packed stuff away. So that was very nice this morning. Um, <laughs> she's brought us today to some golf. I'm buzzing. I haven't played golf in six months. So it can be nice. Um, it's called like mash up golf, so mashy, it's a golf. mashy golf. So it's a little bit different from normal golf, but it should be fun. It's quite windy, um, but it's really hot. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> let's go! I can't wait yeah. to see Georgia hit a golf ball. Yeah, <laughs> so we just picked up the clubs. Let's have a look at a little club, little bag. So it's got a little bag of our clubs. We've got four golf balls. Uh, Not be I'll lose more golf balls than she will because I'll hit it further. So I'm more likely to lose them. This is the first tee. Oh, there's water on the left. And it's quite windy. <laughs> Are you ready? That's all right, you won't hit it that far. <laughs> Wish us luck. The wind's not gonna matter for you. Down. And we're off. And we're off. <laughs> oh, why? I'm not, we're not going to get through IT. We are. We? we are. Come we're on. Leave it all down. No, once you've had enough, I'll just hit the balls around. <laughs> <laughs> and he's up. What do they call it? Taking the tea? Shasha moves. You know what? That was bloody good. <laughs> For God's sake. I think it took me about seven hits to get to the last one. And <laughs> Liv's just done it in two. You've got a seven eye and a sandwich and a pinch of bitch. A sandwich? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to film every shot because we're going to be here all day, but I'll just get a bit of it as we're going around. <laughs> You should have just seen that shot George had done. It was so good. She nearly chipped it in. Uh, another six for her, but she's doing so well. And it's just so nice to get out. And it is windy, but the course is really good. So we're having a real good time, really loving it. So look at that position and the body, so good. We're both a little bit tired, <laughs> but really, really good fun. I've lost a couple of balls. <laughs> See what she's got for her last putt. Oh! That was pretty good. Well, babe. Well done. Thank you. Mwah. Really, really good. She obviously done it for me. A uh, bit windy, but we had a go. Really enjoyed it. So, really, really good day. Another day, another Airbnb. Uh, we arrived here yesterday at St Helen. St Helena's Bay. St Helena's Bay. Um, and we're staying in this right cool little bit Airbnb. Like we, I was saying to George last night, we've actually met some really nice people and staying in some really nice places doing Airbnb. So, we definitely recommend it if you're travelling. We got this for like 40 quid a night, which you're not getting a hotel for that. Um, and hostels like, are cheaper, but Airbnb is so much nicer. Um, so today we are going a bit of wine tasting again. We like a bit of wine tasting. Uh, we may do wine tasting, but I think it's more on the beach. Like, so a bit of beach, a bit of wine tasting, a yeah. um, bit of a cheese platter. The sun's shining. Yesterday was really, really windy, um, as you saw when we were playing golf. Uh, but... Today looks a lot nicer, so a little walk on the beach and sip some wine. One cool thing about this place is it's got a little barbecue area. That's got a chimney that goes all the way out, so we're definitely gonna have a barbecue, aren't we? Yeah. The front of it, look at it. 
Welcome to see today's self catering studio. Really cool. And there it is. SpongeBob SquarePants. The beast. It is so slow. We're just like, we can only go like 10 miles an hour. It's just like a dirt road. Oh God, I feel sick. Massive list of different wines, and we was like, we don't really know. <laughs> I was like, I want five of your best reds, and George was like, I want five of your best whites, and that's how we left it. But oh, the sun's shining, we're gonna have a bit of wine, you can have a cheese board, um, and then we're gonna have a little walk down the beach, aren't we? Yeah. Looking forward to this. So I've actually smashed this cheese board, and George has now found a wine that she likes. <laughs> oh my god, look at her. She definitely needs a walk along the beach. <laughs> oh, I really like this one, so I thought it was just going to give me a little glass, but that's you me off a bottle. This and sushi are two of my favourite things. Really? Yeah. Wine and cheese? Wine and cheese and sushi. But this is what South Africa is known for, so yeah. we've, got, we've got another one of these to do as well, haven't we? Um, it's a bit more local, like we're actually staying at a vineyard, aren't we? We are. Um, so that'll have some nice wines as well. So I'm going to have this though, and then we're going to go for a walk from the beach. Walk, walk from the beach? Oh, God. We're going to go a walk on the beach before we, I drive home. <laughs> that was incredible. Come and see me, babe. Please, babe. <laughs> I don't want this on the camera. Get the bottle. <laughs> Got ourselves a bottle as well. Nice bottle of white. This actually looks like we're in, where is it? Santorini. Santorini. It, it literally just all the white little houses and the sea and stuff. So we're going to go and have a little walk. Really Plus, cool. we shouldn't drive yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, George has struck again. Another awesome day out. Uh, just going to have a stroll on this beach and go home. And then tomorrow is vlog day, Sunday. So day of rest and back on the road on Monday. <coughs> Good morning people um, and welcome to Citrusdale. Now this is probably three four hours north of Cape Town. Um, we're now halfway through our road trip uh, and George has booked us a great Airbnb on this farm. Um, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's got a lovely swimming pool but it's filthy dirty, so we're really disappointed about that because it's so hot, but really, really nice place. Uh, and today we're going out again to wine tasting. <laughs> we look, there's a real nice sort of vineyard place that does all wine tasting and food and stuff. So that's where we're heading out today, but definitely 10 out of 10 for the Airbnb. Let me show you around. So now just one big, real uh, nice open space. I've uh, got sort of a sofa and a sitting down area. And then our bedroom and a little kitchen. Obviously, it's a little bit messy at the minute. Um, should always film these when we first move in, but. And then a nice bathroom. Citrus Dow is actually famous for its citrus fruit. Um, all there is is farms and packing places and that round. Um, we did have a look at going to see one, but there wasn't anywhere that let sort of public in, so we're just gonna go and taste some wine. Are you ready then, babe? Can you sunscreen my back? Yes. So this must be the farmhouse of the people that lives here. And then this is our whole building. Which is pretty cool. And then 
our car is in the garage there. So that's a nice, nice big place, but it is a full blown working farm. There's people walking around, there was chickens this morning, but the actual, where it's located, absolutely gorgeous. Wow, this place looks nice. We was actually recommended this by uh, the last people we've done Airbnb with. I've got tea tasting, so I've got loads of different ones. Oh, look, you can get have a little try. A little try. That looks very nice. I've literally got so many different flavours. What are you going for then? Tropical Burst Tea. I love tea, don't I? Really good. Is it nice? Is yeah, that good? You should try them. I just find it hard to have tea without milk. So there's a big menu there, so you get to pick all the different wines and then you put it on the board and then they come and serve you. And a lovely cheese board, which we love. So the wines have arrived. I've gone for four reds, as I love a red, and Georgia's gone for her four whites. Well, three whites and a rosé. Oh, we've got a rosé on very light, but it's a rosé. Yeah, we actually um, think we're starting to get a problem. Uh, as each day we need to drink some wine <laughs> and then today if we like these ones we'll get a bottle and then we'll drink it tomorrow <laughs> yeah, I think we're running low actually we are, but I ain't got no red left I think I've got one glass of Yeah, so we need some more wine <laughs> right, let's get tasting and the cheese platter's arrived <gasps> these are so hot, they're Not actually burning nice bit of hot bread some hams and lovely bit of cheese, oh babe we are in heaven here, aren't we? we? Are in heaven, yeah. <laughs> so, I finished my wine tasting and I, there was one I liked. Always get a nice glass of it, but it's a pretty big glass. Well, that's only half of it. Still had that as well. So, <laughs> we have absolutely smashed. The platter is gone, all the wine's gone. George is ready for bed. And I'm gonna get a bottle to take back with me. Um, just so gutted that the swimming pool is unusable, basically. Like they're definitely getting a, a four stars from me on the review. But another great day out. Gonna go home and chill now. We've got a long drive. We've got tomorrow. a long. We've got four-hour drive to Springbok tomorrow. Um, so we're just gonna chill and um, yeah, get ready for the drive. What you got then, babe? I made it like the alcoholic carrying a bottle of wine. <laughs> It's yours. This is Liam's. This is Greg. Georgia said she really wanted some wine to drink it on the way home. <laughs> Come to Cape Town, please do this road trip. It's all about wine, basically. Just can't recommend it enough. The West yeah. Coast. If you like beaches and you like wine, you need to do this road trip. Well, let's go and see what they got in this farm shop then. So they got some lovely cold meats and cheese in it. Uh, we're going to go for some. Come and there, and I've really got into my dried meat there. It's like, like a proper South African thing, isn't it? Yeah, no, I think dried meat are. I'm into it, I'm loving it. Well, no, that's what we had with our platter, literally. Yeah. I think it come from this place. So we had that, we had that. And it was really nice. And we got our wine, and... And then I've got some of the... Some of the tea. tea. Yeah. Nice. But you can have cold or hot. Or oh, hot. Yeah. So we're, su we're supporting the local, local produce. Caramello with oh. caramello with milk chocolate. <laughs> Everything here is so good. That looks nice. I feel like we should get one of these. Okay, I? okay. Get one then. I'm gonna get one of these and one of those. <laughs> Come on, let's pay. Just a little fork in the fudge as well. But you only get two bits in there. <sighs> go on then. So you only get two blocks. Okay, go on then. And fudge. <laughs> They're gonna think we're so fat. So we literally bought the whole shop, didn't we? Take one of everything, please. But we've got some good stuff, haven't we? It's good to support local. The local businesses. Yeah. 
afternoon guys and welcome to our Airbnb in the middle of South Africa. <laughs> we are in the middle of a farm in the middle of nowhere. We've been driving for four hours, we've done 450 kilometers. Uh, but wow, look at it. It's just a tiny little place in the middle of nowhere. Come and have a look. <laughs> so we've got like a barbecue area and a bit of a fire pit. I like the outside bit because you've got like sort of shelter, yeah. which is quite cool. And it's just like this, it's proper bougie in here. Yeah, it's bit, bit, nice. bit of Georgia bougie. Bit of bougie. Oh, got air con. And by the looks of it, even got a bit of Netflix and some internet, which I'm pretty surprised that in the middle of here, mate. Oh, yeah, it's so nice. We haven't had a TV in ages. It's going to be so nice as well when the sun sets. Uh, it'll be really nice at night, see the stars and stuff. So, nah, really, really looking forward to this. Oh, just like a small little cabin, but nice little kitchen. And then we go upstairs, and Georgia's buzzing because she's got her own bed tonight, which I'm not very happy about. but couple of beds and a nice shower and toilet. <laughs> How cool is this, eh? And then, you open your balcony, and that's the view that we've got. So yeah, as we were driving onto the farm, like all cows and sheep and ducks and that running around. Uh, but no, she's picked another good one here. Very, very impressed, George. You've done really well. <laughs> so we've come downstairs and there's a pig that's trying to eat my flip-flops. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> come on. Come on, mate. No, no, come here. <laughs> Hey, go. <laughs> what do we do? Get, let me out, so I can get them. Come on, out. <laughs> George is trying to get some. Get the other one. All right. <laughs> My name's not Babe. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Quick, now. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah. It's funny start eating my flip flop. <laughs> it's funny though. Good morning, guys. Um, after another rocky sleep, um, such a nice place to stay, but the bed was tiny, wasn't it, babe? Tiny for you, you're a giant. It was tiny. Uh, I couldn't really sleep, and then at about seven o'clock this morning, our pig friend, Backy, um, started coming and knocking over the bin and woke us up, so bit of a rough sleep, but Georgia slept all right, so that's good. Um, so we're just packing away and getting ready to go. We've got another 420 kilometers to travel today. Gonna to take us about four hours um, to our last destination on our road trip before we start heading back down to Cape Town. We're there for two nights, um, but we've just got the relentless task of packing up. So I don't actually think I've shown you guys what I travel with. Um, I've only got two bags. Uh, this bag is just for all my camera gear, um, my GoPro, my camera I'm using now, my drone and my tripod and then I'll put my laptop in here so that's quite a big bag and then I've got this bag here which is separated into packing cubes which honestly if you're traveling packing cubes are the one I got my toiletry bag I got my shoes um, flip-flops uh, tuna shoes and stuff in there I got my pants and my socks um, it's in my speaker. I then got my coat in there, and then in there is all my t shirts, shorts, and trousers. So that's it, basically. That's all we travel with, and George has basically got the same. Um, 
but every time you need something, you've got to get all the cubes out and zip them. So it's just a nightmare every every time we stop, move on. It's all right if we're somewhere for like two, three weeks because uh, you just get it all out, put it in the wardrobe. But on these road trips where you're moving every day, you just got to keep packing and unpacking. But oh well, could be worse things in life to do. Look at him. It is, it's huge. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> Go on, mate, you're all right. <laughs> so, we've just got onto our road and. Oh, let me just turn the radio down. We've just got onto our road and we are on this road for 333 kilometres. <laughs> And all it is, is literally just dead straight road. But you do get some beautiful views, but it's a hell of a board. What's the question? Is there more? A bit better, better, bit better than that. Um, so we've just been listening to a podcast. So got to stop, nature calls, but very interesting fact for you. We'll try and get out of the car. Don't know how well the camera can see, but oh, it looks incredible. But over there, 12 miles is the border of Nibia. So then you're getting into um, mainland Africa. So that's a little fact for you. That's the closest we actually come to the border of uh, main, mainline Africa, mainland Africa, so to speak. Um, but no, literally in the middle of nowhere. Right, got to go to the toilet and get on. So guys, why we've got no signal, we can't listen to a podcast, can't listen to the radio. If we broke down, we'd be knackered because we can't get hold of anyone. We're in the middle of nowhere. But I just want to take this time, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a little, either there or there, little packet of places. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you like. It really helps uh, get into the algorithm and more people get to see our content. Um, and follow us on Instagram, at Packing for Places. Uh, it's a more of an up-to-date live. We're about three or four weeks behind with the with, uh, uh, vlogs, but Instagram, you can see what we're doing live. So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe and follow us. And have we arrived? Yeah, I can see the <laughs> castle. It's no. fake, but I can see the castle. We didn't actually tell you guys our alcoholism has carried on because we are actually staying oh, yeah. on a winery. <laughs> this is the last one, but we're going to go three weeks dry. Are we? Well, In no, we're probably not, but no. we are actually staying on a wine and brandy farm. Yeah, it looks Oh, I can't wait for this and we get a free wine tasting yeah a free tasting a free tasting with our stay so definitely gonna try some wine ending on a high oh yeah so I've literally just opened the door and I parked right next to some dog poo another thing that happened to me which I'm not very happy about is I don't know if you saw yesterday but the pig got my flip flops now I was coming out of the garage and this happened it broke so I no longer have my Havanas which I absolutely love and I've only got like trainers so I'm gonna have to sort them out somewhere but right, let's get inside and check in and this is it this is our accommodation looks quite nice on the outside anyway Ooh. 
Look at this. Little kitchen. Oh, got a nice. Oh. Yeah. So, looks pretty good. Got TV, internet. This will do us for a couple of days. Perfect. We settled into our Airbnb and seems to be everywhere we go, we get a friend. Yesterday it was a pig. Today it's a dog. And he's pretty dog cool. And his rock. And he loves the rock, but he wants you to throw the rock, but he won't give you the rock. What are you, mate? Got some trust issues. We're working on it. Drop it. Yeah, mate. If you drop the rock, then we'll throw it. Oh, <laughs> <I> dribble. <laughs> so, guys, that's the end of part two. That's the end of the vlog. And that's the end of our road trip in South Africa. We now get on a plane uh, back over to Johannesburg and we are doing a three week tour through Botswana. So, hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Packing for Places. And we will see you in the next one.